Aussie pumps, and you can see down the back there, there's a big run of cobras just finished, and these are two units that are going to a specialist for a particular customer. Now, and uh, just tell me, what are you guys up to here? Uh, so we're just going through this um, post-production check or the quality checks that we yeah. see and we just make sure that okay if everything is per of a quality standards yep. and Anne is with me today so she know and she can tell it to the customer that how we build of a machine and what features they have why we use that why we build like that so uh, just going through the discussion okay now Anne, you're, you're known in the industry as the jetter lady or <laughs> queen of the jetters or something uh, I know you, you put more machines out there in the market than anybody else what what is the difference between our machine and the others? I think it's a compact design. You're right, it, I'm looking um, at this and it's very tight. And it's got that big birdie pump in there. Four year warranty, it's just like, you don't get that sort of warranties where everyone loves them. I mean, why wouldn't yeah. you like them? They're great, they're compact, they're easy to use. about A's and B's. Are these A machines or B machines? Okay, these are A-class machines. This is a 4,000 PSI. Okay. So this does a great job and small, compact, just unreal machines. Okay, Everybody now, loves them. Now, love why them. do people buy B-class machines? No, I mean, the difference between A's and B's has got something to do with certification, hasn't it? Yes, with the B-class machine, you have to be RTO certified. So that's a two-day course that two staff members have to do to be able to use these machines. But the reason that some people still buy the Class B is because it's got more power, power. than Class A, yes. and those professional plumbers, mm -hmm. they'll go for a Class B machine. Yeah. Uh, As you're saying, Mel, if they've got the work, they need to buy the B class. Do you make well, the Bs too? Yeah, uh, we make the Bs too, yes. Okay, what sort, what engines do you use there? They, we use a 23 horsepower uh, and above, uh, with the 5,000 PSI pressure, and up to 31 litre per minute flow, so they, huge like they can clear the pipes up to nine inch drain pipes wow this is the end of the run of 50. yep isn't that good well it don't is they, good don't they look great they do look great and they look like they really know how to do the job oh, right. so these these are the trolley mounts but you've also yep. just built a run of 50 uh, cubes as well Cube versions yes. as well obviously you guys are onto something here why don't people like the eels anymore what's the big problem with eels they're slow they bite you in there from what we get from the plumbers, they just don't like them. They take too long dirty. and they're dirty. Yeah, but you realise 80 years ago they were the go. They well, they were because they technology. didn't know about these technologies that we've worked on with plumbers. We've talked to the plumbers, we've learned from them and given them what they know to be these great, wonderful machines. I notice you make sure there's instructions and danger signs on these units for safety purposes. Yep. And I'm seeing that you also clearly identify them as being A's or B's. So these are clearly identified as A's, so the customer knows when he gets them that he doesn't ever need certification. Mm -hmm. 